Tires and wheels can cost thousands of dollars, so the question is, which wheel locks are the best? Well, let's find out. In the first test, we'll see which wheel locks can be removed with locking pliers. Then we'll see if an undersized socket will work. Then we'll try a couple of locking lug nut removal tools. Finally, we'll try a portable inverter welder. At a price of $15, the least expensive brand we'll be testing is made by White Knight. All the wheel locks we'll be testing are size 12 millimeters by 1.5. The White Knight is made in China. Cousin Eddie is concerned that his Buick wheels are in very high demand. So let's find the best solution to protect his wheels in our first test. I'll first torque the locking lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds. Even though I only have about 200 degrees of access to the wheel lock, let's see if I can remove the wheel lock with a really good pair of locking pliers. And the locking pliers have a harder steel construction than the White Knight wheel locks. And the locking pliers are easily able to bite into and gain a grip on the wheel lock. Working at a very leisurely pace, it took me right at a minute to defeat the White Knight with locking pliers. And the locking pliers left a lot of visible damage to the White Knight wheel locks. At a price of $18 is this Dorman brand. The Dorman has a spinning collar to prevent theft. It includes four locks and one key. Dorman claims that their wheel locks are corrosion resistant. We're going to test that. The Dorman is made in China. And the sleeve on the Dorman wheel lock did a great job of slowing me down. So I decided to change my strategy after about 20 seconds. Let's use a self-tapping sheet metal screw to take out the sleeve. By the way, I'm confident that people who steal wheels know every strategy that I'm showing and even more. So my goal is to help people find the most effective wheel lock system. And it's right at the two minute mark and the sleeve is removed. And it took just over two and a half minutes to remove the Dorman wheel lock. And the locking pliers left a lot of visible damage to the wheel lock. At a price of $19 is this Magard brand. Narrow pattern groove on the lock resists intrusion of removal tools into the pattern. The plating process includes several layers of nickel and one layer of microporous chrome, producing a superior finish while protecting against rust. The Magard wheel locks are made in USA. And the Magard wheel locks have a much tougher plating compared to the White Knight and the Dorman. And the locking pliers just can't sink their teeth into the Magard wheel lock. And some wheels offer 360 degrees of access to lug nuts or wheel locks. With 360 degrees of access, I'm able to gain additional leverage with the locking pliers. However, the plating on the wheel lock is very good and is preventing the locking pliers from gaining a grip. And there's very little damage to the wheel lock. At a price of $21 is this Tavosky brand, made of precision machined hardened steel. It includes triple nickel chromium plating. The Tavosky is made in China. Just like the Magard, the Tavosky has a better coating and harder steel compared to the White Knight and the Dorman. And the locking pliers just weren't able to gain a grip. I gave up after about 25 seconds. And with 360 degrees of access, the locking pliers were able to gain a much better leverage advantage. And it took less than 30 seconds to remove the Tavosky wheel lock. A little more damage than the Magards, but still just minor scratches. We'll be testing two different wheel locks made by Gorilla. The first one is the small diameter at a price of $26. The Gorilla wheel locks are made of hardened steel. The triple chrome plating is to prevent corrosion. The Gorilla wheel locks are made in Taiwan. With the small diameter as well as the external pattern on the Gorilla wheel locks, it was very easy to defeat. And the locking pliers did quite a bit of damage to the wheel lock. The second set of wheel locks made by Gorilla cost $36. Upper stage is free spinning. Protects the lower stage from removal tools. Made in Taiwan. And the locking pliers just couldn't gain a grip on the lower portion of the wheel lock on the OEM wheel. I gave up after about a minute and a half. With the open wheel, the locking pliers are able to gain a grip on the lower portion of the wheel lock. And the wheel lock is loose in about a minute. And the locking pliers left teeth marks on the Gorilla, so pretty soft metal. At a price of $90 is this advanced wheel lock brand. Manufactured of heat treated alloy, making them the strongest wheel locks on the market. Their patented lock system can be configured with infinite key plates, designed to prevent surface rust. The advanced wheel lock is made in USA. And the locking pliers just aren't able to gain a grip on the advanced wheel lock. The shape of the lock is a problem and the metal is very hard, preventing the pliers from gaining traction. Even with full access to the wheel lock, the locking pliers just couldn't gain a good grip. And the advanced wheel lock held up very well with very little visible damage. With limited access on the OEM wheel, the locking pliers just weren't able to loosen the Magard, Tavaski, Free Spinning Gorilla, and Advanced Wheel Lock. On the open rim design, the Magard and the Advanced Wheel Locks were the only two brands that survived the locking pliers. Let's try to use an undersized socket. And the White Knight has a very large diameter, and there's just not enough clearance for the socket. A 12-point socket is ideal, but the 6-point socket made very easy work of the White Knight. And the wheel lock is loose in about 30 seconds. The White Knight is very soft and the socket carved a path. And the sleeve will prevent the socket from working. So let's assume we just spent two minutes removing the sleeve from the doorman. I couldn't find a socket that was just the right size. So let's try using a couple nails and a socket that's a little oversized. And the nails will be wedged between the socket and the wheel lock. And it took about a total of five minutes to remove the doorman wheel lock. Finding a socket that's perfectly sized takes the most amount of time. After finding the perfect socket for the job, it took less than 20 seconds to remove the Magard lock. And the socket is very poor quality, but it is still pretty impressive that the Magard wheel lock destroyed the points on the socket. And there's very little damage to the wheel lock. Let's try a 12-point socket on the Tavosky. And it took about 20 seconds to break loose the Tavosky wheel lock. And the socket held up just fine, and the socket left tooth marks on the Tavosky wheel lock. I had to make a couple of attempts with the Gorilla small diameter wheel lock. 
I did a much better job of finding the right socket for the second attempt. And the second attempt took about 20 seconds to break loose the Gorilla wheel lock. It's a pretty soft metal which allows the socket method to work very well. And the Gorilla lock is pretty soft and experienced quite a bit of damage. And there's no damage to the socket. And the socket of choice for the second Gorilla wheel lock is a six point. Trying to drive on the six point did take quite a bit more effort. The socket has to be driven deep enough to capture the spinning top portion and the bottom portion of the wheel lock. Instead of taking around 20 seconds, I needed about 35 seconds to remove the Gorilla. And the wheel lock is pretty soft. And no luck with the socket method on the advanced wheel lock. The tapered shape along with the hardness of the metal makes it pretty difficult to defeat. So using a variety of sockets, the White Knight was too large to loosen with the socket on the OEM wheel. The advanced wheel system also survived the test. On the open rim, I was able to remove the White Knight wheel lock. If a wheel thief doesn't have a good set of tools, they can always stop by Napa Auto Parts and pick up a wheel lock extractor socket. While the inside of the socket is perfectly round, it tapers from front to back. And the universal removal tool is designed for large diameter wheel locks. It took several attempts, but the Napa wheel lock is finally in position. Once I properly installed the tool, it took about 20 seconds to remove the white knight. The use of locking pliers for holding a chisel or punch really helps prevent hand injuries. And the universal wheel lock removal tool did leave a small crease in the wheel lock. And the universal tool won't be able to remove the doorman with the sleeve in place. The socket and the sleeve rotate freely, but the lug nut isn't turning. So the sleeve on the doorman will need to be removed. Without the sleeve, the universal removal tool is too large. So let's try this universal locking wheel nut removal set. It's sold at Harbor Freight for around $40. Assuming it takes two minutes to remove the sleeve, it takes another 20 seconds to remove the dormant wheel lock with the wheel lock extractor. And the extractor's reverse spiral flutes did a really good job of biting into the wheel lock. And the McGuard is made of a much harder steel than the White Knight in the Dorman. And the extractor socket made very easy work of the McGuard in about 20 seconds. And there's some pretty deep tooth marks in the McGuard. Just like the McGuard, the wheel lock extractor made very easy work of the Tavaski. Just like the McGuard, it took 20 seconds to remove the Tavaski. And the extractor left pretty deep tooth marks on the wheel lock. And the Gorilla's locking pattern is on the outer perimeter of the wheel lock, which really helps the wheel lock removal tool gain traction. About 20 seconds to remove the wheel lock. Just like the other brands, there's quite a bit of damage to the wheel lock. And a free spinning design of the Gorilla wheel lock will prevent the extraction tool from working. The shape of the advanced wheel lock makes it very challenging to loosen without the key. And the extraction tool just isn't able to gain a grip on the advanced wheel lock. So the extraction tool specifically designed for wheel lock removal worked well on all the wheel locks except for the free spinning Gorilla and the advanced wheel lock. Let's see if the universal socket can remove a wheel lock. The spring loaded pins are designed to adjust to any shape or size. And the universal socket just isn't able to gain a good enough grip on the White Knight. And the universal socket couldn't remove the doorman but it did remove the metal collar. And that was the most success the universal socket had on all of the brands. Another option is to use a spiral screw extractor. Wheel lock material is pretty hard, but a high quality drill bit should be able to handle it. And a spiral screw extractor made very easy work of the White Knight and it should work on most of the other brands. However, it's just not gonna work on the free spinning Gorilla or the advanced wheel lock. I thought it'd be very interesting to test out this handheld inverter welder, which cost around $140. There's a dial on top of the welder to adjust the amperage. It's powered by 110 volts. I'll use a pretty large nut and a set of locking pliers to hold the nut in place. I'll just fill in the donut hole in the middle using a 1 8 inch welding rod. I'll set the amperage to 120 amps, which is the maximum setting. With this strategy, there is a pretty high risk of causing damage to a set of wheels. Unfortunately, the weld did not hold up on the first attempt. I'll start off with a new nut and I'll spend a little more time filling in the donut hole. I'll also add a small bead on top of the nut. And the weld held up just fine and the wheel lock is off. Until now, I didn't know it was even possible to make such an ugly weld. So the advanced wheel lock is the only lock that hasn't been defeated. I'll hold the nut in place using a board. Once I've tacked the outside, I'll go ahead and weld the middle. While the welder is undersized for the job, it still did a good enough job to finally defeat the advanced wheel lock system. Let's test for corrosion resistance using a hydrogen peroxide, vinegar, and salt mix. In addition to testing the corrosion resistance of the undamaged wheel locks, let's see how well the damaged wheel locks avoid corrosion. And there's quite a bit of corrosion on the White Knight where the plating has been damaged. Just like the White Knight, there's also quite a bit of corrosion on the Dorman. While there is some corrosion on the Magard, there's less corrosion than the White Knight in the Dorman. And the Tavoski seems to have about the same amount of corrosion as the White Knight in the Dorman. And the Gorilla does have some corrosion, but it's very difficult to see. And the amount of corrosion on the Gorilla seems very similar to the White Knight in the Dorman. And the plating that's used on the advanced wheel lock definitely seems to be of higher quality compared to the other brands. And there's no visible corrosion on the undamaged wheel locks, however it has been less than 24 hours. So which wheel lock is the best? And the advanced wheel lock system is by far the best winning in every category. However, it is very expensive. The free spinning design of the Gorilla also helped it perform very well. If you're looking for a wheel lock that offers decent protection at an affordable price, the Magard wheel locks are of high quality. If you're looking to purchase wheel locks, there's probably at least four things you need to consider. The first two things to consider include the diameter and the thread pitch. For example, the 12 on the packaging indicates 12 millimeters. The thread pitch is 1.5. 
They'll need to match the lug nuts that are being replaced. The thread depth of the wheel lock has to be deeper than the thread length of the stud. Finally, the diameter of the wheel lock has to offer a narrow enough profile to work with the wheel. I really enjoy watching the lock picking lawyer at work. He can break into just about any lock. With that being said, that doesn't mean you shouldn't have locks on your doors. After all, locks do an excellent job at preventing most thieves from breaking in. And it's the same way with wheel locks. Wheel locks can definitely serve as a great theft deterrent system. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.